uh hey guys uh, welcome to lees and lungs so we've been uh, continuing the series on plant breeding okay so uh, we've been through various other good topics and today's topic is going to be about on back cross method okay so back cross uh, okay so we'll just go into the topic proper straight up so uh, we'll see the definition of back cross so before going into the uh, definition of the main back cross we'll just see the pictures actually okay so here you see there are two types of parents okay one is a label this as a and this as b okay so when you do when you cross these two plants you'll get a first generation hybrid okay that is f1 hybrid okay so after this f or f1 hybrid is formed f1 hybrid is made to cross with any one of the parent that is whether it can be a or it can be b okay so when the so that is uh, we are going back actually okay we are not proceeding further we are crossing with a, we are crossing the child with any one of the parent okay so this is known as a, a back cross okay so back cross is nothing but it is a cross between f1 hybrid and one of the parents okay so it was proposed in the earlier uh, early 1920s uh, by a scientist called as harin and pope uh, so back cross method okay so before going into the uh, procedure you should know why back cross should be performed or is performed okay so the main objective of this method is to improve one or two specific defects of the high yielding variety okay so uh, assume that no plant or no hybrid that is formed will have all the characters that is required okay so there will, there will be obviously there will be some uh, deficient uh, characters in them so to improve one of the two specific defects of the high yielding variety back cross is performed okay so this is why the objective so this is why back cross is mainly performed so uh, in the, so uh, during this back cross you'll have two types of parents okay so a parent which doesn't have that specific character is called as recipient parent okay and uh, the parent which has that character and it is giving to another parent it is called as donor parent okay so it is nothing but the desirable variety which are lacking in some characteristics known as uh, recurrent or recipient parent okay the wild variety which process which has that uh, desirable character is called as donor parent uh, so in this picture you can see clearly that uh, uh, so this is one f1 hybrid okay so either one of the parent is could be a recurrent parent that is a recipient parent or this could be a donor parent okay so assume it is here this is a donor parent and this is a recipient okay so the criteria for back cross is that there should be a suitable recurrent parent and also there should be a suitable donor parent okay so these are the first two criteria and the third one is the character that is going to be transferred should have very very high very heritability that is it should pass to the next generation okay and then the fourth point is a sufficient number of back crossed should be made so that the genotype of the recurrent parent is recovered in full okay so the genotype of the parent even after back crossing should be unaltered okay it should remain the same the genotype should remain the same so these are the four criteria that uh, for conducting back cross so the application of the back cross method okay so usually it's like uh, the transfer of disease resistant from one variety to another and the transfer of characters like a uh, yielding etc okay it is applied in both self as well as crop pollinated plants so this is one of the main application so the simpler terms they'll be given like uh, so simply inert characters such as disease resistance seed color and plant height etc and uh, intervarietal transfer of quantitative character so anything which is related to quantity such as earliness seed size uh, seed shape uh, may be transferred from one variety to another okay and the third point is it is interspecific transfer of simple uh, inherited characters okay so it is not alone between the varieties alone it is between the species alone okay for example uh, you can transfer of uh, you can transfer leaf and stem resistant stem stem rust resistance from triticum monocom to a uh, triticum astivum okay so it is like interspecific also a uh, back cross method can be used uh, the fourth point is transfer of cytoplasm from one variety of species to another and in our, it, that is it is used in cytoplasmic male sterility okay so it is one of the main chief point that you can uh, fetch some good marks while rating uh, this this point and all okay and then as transgressive secretion it is also used in transgressive segregation okay so uh, if you want to know what is transgressive segregation it is nothing but it's a formation of extreme phenotype that is um, plant with having superior high yield qualities okay and then uh, finally production of isogenic lines iso means the same genus means genotype okay same type of genotype okay so these are the applications of uh, so we'll see the genetic consequences of uh, back crossing okay when you do back cross you obviously know that you're gonna get the same kind of variety that is 
it will result in the rapid increase in homozygosity and it will also increase in the frequency of homozygotes okay so thus repeated back crossing it results in the frequency of desirable genotype okay and thus the genotype of the progeny becomes increasingly similar to that of the parent okay because since the uh, child is derived from the parent and when the child is again back crossed with the parent you're not going to get any new characters okay so the genotype will be almost similar that is both will be like identical with this next generation okay and the gene under transfer must be also maintained by selection in the back cross generation okay so therefore there would be opportunity in each back cross generation that will result in crossing over or some linkage will also will happen okay so these are the genetic variation okay so like a crossing over might happen uh, and also like a linkage between uh, genes may also occur so these are the genetic consequences of back crossing okay and uh, that brings to the end of the topic if you like the video give uh, give a thumbs up uh, uh, if you want to share with your friends do share the video uh, because uh, without the support the channel is nothing okay so thank you we'll see you in the next video okay